So this is a clip showing how to do the weaver's knot for book binding. The thread has come to its end. The knot will take place inside the book. Here I'm tying the knot between the tail and the middle thread of the binding and the next time I change the knot I will make sure it's not in the same place that it's between the middle and the head end of the binding so that you don't get the knots piled up in one area of the spine and take the cut end of the new piece of thread the open end from the previous cut goes in the needle so that your thread is being used in the correct direction and pick up the old thread from inside the book the new thread goes under the old to form a cross. The new thread loops around its own tail to make a loop and you can pinch it with your thumb and the tail of the old thread from the book goes through that loop and if you pull the old thread you have your weaver's knot around the new thread. And you can begin to pull your weaver's knot slowly but surely a little bit tighter and you can slide it as far down to the back of the book as you want and then holding the tail of the old thread and taking the new and putting it all tight you will hear that knot pop as it clicks into place and that is all there is to tying a weaver's knot in a book binding. Squash the knot into the fold of the gathering and cut two loose tails off before continuing to sew.